Welcome everybody to today's video. Um, it's been a while since I've uploaded a video, I know, um, but mainly because Nike has had issues um, with, I don't know, their product release um, or their shipping. I, I still don't know. I mean, I guess maybe COVID is still affecting um, shipping and or workers in factories. I don't know, um, but I do have a, a brand new review for you guys today. But before um, I start that, I want to let you guys know that I have joined the Buy Me A Coffee. Um, and yeah, um, as you know, I'm trying to be a content creator full time and without a job, that's kind of difficult. Um, I do buy all my own products um, that you guys see. Um, I'm not given anything. Um, so I've invested in camera, microphone, lighting products, everything that is needed to go into um, a YouTube channel uh, or content creation, I guess. Um, I have taken it out of my own pockets. Um, so I do ha not have no sponsorship. I have nothing. The only thing that I get help with is having my lifetime discount with Nike, which is in a way the reason why I don't do a lot of other brands on this channel, just because um, I guess staying loyal to the brand that paid me and, and gave me a lifetime discount is, is something I guess I could do for them, but I know I would change that in the future to um, obviously upgrade the channel. Um, I feel like I kind of only get some of the um, subs that really enjoy Nike, but um, so I could be getting more by doing more Puma, Adidas, stuff like that. But again, in, I invest my own money and I don't have much of it to go around. So any little donation that you would be willing to offer, you know, even if I, I don't drink much coffee, I drink some coffee, but I do enjoy a good Coke. And here in Florida, in my area, Cokes are not a dollar anymore. They're actually a dollar 79, I think. So maybe you don't want to buy me a coffee, but you would be buying me a Coke. I don't know if that matters. But uh, anyways, let's get into um, this review. Uh, this was supposed to come out um, July. I'm not, I don't remember exactly. July, the beginning of the July. Um, and for some reason, sh the product showed up in the app, the Mercurial, the Superfly as well. But there's no Superfly out. It just says keep um, coming soon. And again, I don't shop anywhere else really other than on the Nike website. So it does say coming soon. These said the same thing as well for a very, very long time. And then one day I, I'm checking every day. I check every day for product, whether it's football boots, uh, sneakers, whatever. I'm, I'm constantly on the app every day. I think Nike is the most visited app that I own or I have that I'm on. Um, so it's just something that I re um, religiously do because you know, when you get a discount at something, you know, you might find a good deal here and there. So it's pretty good. Um, so these said coming soon for a very long time. And I actually had ordered the, I don't think it's, this, this is the launch colorway that I have here, but it was like that weird, like green, light, light, very light green. Um, and then they canceled it and said it was sold out. So I don't know what was going on there. Again, I don't know what's going on with Nike um, at the warehouse or shipping something is going on um i do sometimes check like soccer.com and i see that their products say that they're on their way to the warehouse and they're not there so i i don't know what's going on but all i know is that when i get the product i'll make the video these just came in i actually have the launch colorway pair and then the black pair because i'm gonna keep the black pair um and this launch colorway I think I may return it because they're going to be releasing a yellow pair, hopefully August 1st is what they say, because they've said on Instagram when that the boots are released and then they're not up on their app. So if you're, if you guys are probably watching this, you're in the same boat waiting for stuff to release or if it sells out, um, I kind of feel this is also a good way to create, you know, a buzz to create you know, a, a, a desire for the, the products. So in a way it could be 
you know, smart marketing. I'm not sure. I don't, I don't know, but I will say it has taken away a little bit of the, you know, excitement, the allure of a new vapor because it's just, you know, supposed to come out two weeks ago and here we are barely receiving it and shipping times are slow as well. So it's kind of been a little bit underwhelming and not as exciting getting the new um, boot, but we're gonna take it out of the bag so I can show you guys. And it is the launch colorway, of course, with the white. And then it does say air on both, which the black prow, I'll show you guys, only has air on the inside and the swoosh on the other side. Um, pretty cool looking sole plate. Um, obviously, the main difference between this one and last, the Mercurial 14, obviously is the air zoom unit that is here in the forefoot. Um, you can kind of push on it, actually. Um, and it has, again, flying it, maybe not as much flying it. Now, I'll tell you, even, even holding this in hand, and I haven't put it on foot yet, um, my favorite vapor so of the last you know few generations has was the 13 and this and and the superfly um uh six i think no seven superfly seven i get them confused because they're not matched up but that flying it that that i i didn't even realize till after i think um till the new vapor came out the the, the 14 came out then I, I didn't realize how much i actually enjoyed playing the 13 and i have plenty of um, 13s and, and the Superfly as well um, that you know they're gonna last me a long time and I'm glad I got a whole bunch of those because that that to me is has been the most comfortable vapor that I've worn I haven't worn them all but I did enjoy the vapor 3 and a lot of people don't think that was a good one for me it was a good boot I actually wore it a half size small because I just wanted to wear them so bad and and they still were fine um, I would say but of people complain about blister or stuff like that. But I, I thought it was a good boot for me anyway, for me, again, this is all subjective. This is all just my opinion. I'm here just to kind of help guide you guys make a decision because you know, the prices on the boots aren't cheap. Um, and yeah, so still pretty light. Um, I don't want to go into tech specs because I'm pretty sure you've probably watched Josh from SR4U or you know, uh, who's the, uh, Unisport. You've probably already watched all that. You know, the tech, the tech specs behind the boot. Um, the main thing being this huge air zoom unit. So probably I think if you're watching this, you probably just want to know, should you upgrade? And sorry, I couldn't find, um, my vapor, um, 14. They're lost in there somewhere. So I just wanted to use the Superfly, which is basically the same, um, boot of course. Um, should you consider either upgrading from this or maybe trying to find, um, one of these on sale and even based on the new, um, tech knowledge in this boot, the new release, I still feel like you would probably still get your money's worth buying this one first and waiting for the prices to drop on the you know, 15 a little bit later, um, if you could find a really good deal, because there are some places that really have, um, good deals on these. Um, if you must have the new tech, obviously yes. Upgrade. If you have the money, if you're just one of those people that like to upgrade and always have the new stuff or what the new, new players are wearing on their feet, which a lot of players haven't really switched to this. I think only Mbappe, I think some of the women's players I've seen wearing them, but not everybody has upgraded and they're still wearing the previous um, model. So um, I don't know if Nike's still just testing out. Um, maybe some players just haven't gotten theirs or players haven't broken them in. Um, but I will say, if you're buying this to think that the Air Zoom unit is going to, you know, make you faster or you know they claim all that stuff but it's not gonna work it's, it's not gonna help you very much 
<laughs> you're still going to be the same player whether you're wearing this or you're wearing something else you know um it is what it is that's <laughs> that's um basically is all i can tell you man i i mean is it going to be more comfortable probably yes all out the box when you wear them your first couple times probably going to be very comfortable because if you wear you know nike's um air, uh like the pegasus that has the zoom unit um or the basketball shoes the kd 12 or you know most of the kds um what happens is when you when you start wearing a new shoe it feels great you know your first couple wears but then after it's almost like your foot just gets accustomed or used to it or i don't know maybe it molds to your foot that you really can't even feel the comfort level much after um you've broken it in um so and i feel like the same would be with this soccer boot now this isn't the first time of course that they have uh, the air zoom unit in a football boot uh actually my uh, temples the Ronaldinho the R10 the gold edition from the 2006 World Cup has a little bit in it in the heel area um, so I mean they've just kind of been experimenting um, where they put it um, but I am happy I guess for the fact that they didn't raise the price much considering that they put in new tech into the boot which also makes me though think about then if they put in all this new tech and it's supposed to be uh, revolutionary or, or and something like that, like then why are they the same price as previous versions or the, 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 the last, I don't know how many versions, the same price? You would think that with new technology, there's going to be an increase in price. I mean, that's just how it is for sneakers. Uh, but the fact that it can stay the same price, I wish... I wish uh, previous models were then cheaper, you know? I don't know really how much goes, what goes into making the boot. I've heard people say that it's a lot because of the machines really, not necessarily the materials, but how they're made, I guess, is what people say that um, costs why they have the price so high. Um, but even still, I don't think um, it costs that much to make this boot. Just my opinion. Um, I'm all for the consumer, <laughs> for the buyer. Um, I know what it's like to, again, I run my channel off of my my own money and I don't have no help. So I understand what it's like. I can only imagine parents having to, you know, tell their kids no, that they can't have the latest version. I was that kid sometimes that got told no. So not very often because I was lucky, fortunate enough, but there was sometimes, you know, I don't, I don't think, I, it must be hard being a teenager growing up right now and wanting your favorite boot and you can't because there's prices are outrageous um but yeah so here's the launch colorway um I, I don't know what else to say i do have the air zoom ultra that released i kind of wanted to show you guys or talk about the little differences so again you can actually see uh the air zoom unit that goes just kind of in the forefoot here in the ultra it actually went i don't think the camera i can get the camera to pick it up but it actually i have not worn them either it's a different upper on this one um and then what they decided to go with um and then the air zoom unit actually goes the whole length it's a full length air zoom unit so these were more expensive and i can see why that's what i'm talking about like these are actually ex more expensive because there's more tech involved and it has a full on um air zoom unit you know full length so again that's what i'm saying like if this is supposed to be you know better than the previous version then however the same price i'm not complaining about that i'm just saying maybe previous versions should um be a little bit cheaper uh but this definitely is not the same boot this one is lighter i can tell just by holding it um this also has the flyknit uh cables right there to give you the lockdown um 
I, I don't know which would be more comfortable. Um, the only problem, I, I haven't worn these just because I feel like they're too wide in the ankle area. I do not like that very much. Um, so that's kind of why I haven't worn them that much. And also, it's pretty a, limit, a very limited release. So <laughs> I don't know if I'll ever wear those or when I will. Um, Florida season is muddy season, rainy season right now. So um, yeah, I don't know if I want to wear them now. But back to this one. Um, yeah, I want to do a play test. I don't know if I will get around to doing it. Maybe I will just play in them because I do have um, a game and then come back with like a, a, a better review for you guys. Um, but I'm always going to say maybe just wait on the um, new releases. If you just upgraded, there's always people who always get mad and say they just purchased um the last year's um version um that's okay i mean because it's not gonna make you better no one's gonna look at your boots and say oh my god he's wearing the or she's wearing the last last version the old version like no no one's gonna say that i, I where i play in a rec league people will just wear whatever they don't even wear high-end boots sometimes or they have very very old boots it is what it is i'm the only dummy out there with the newest stuff but because i'm just an enthusiast who really enjoys shoes boots sneakers everything anything that has to do with a shoe i enjoy it <laughs> so um i've kind of cursed myself because i have sneakers and then i have my football boots and that's sometimes overwhelming i would say um i wish i didn't have that addiction but i do and I enjoy finding out, um, you know, you know, the tech and all that. I don't really like to talk about it on here because I always get stuff late anyway. And then I just imagine that all my um, people or who, if you've come across the videos that you've just already watched other people that have already talked about. And I don't want to go that same route. So I kind of just talk about rather you should switch or not give a little bit of the brief um, um what the new tech specs are and then move on from that so this has very posit flying it um it looks like a vapor should perform like a vapor um your studs gonna be aggressive so uh is it gonna make you faster no is it gonna make you feel faster probably and, and that's really what it comes down to if you've um ever wore a copa mundial let's say and then put this on you're gonna feel a difference, but it's not gonna make you better. It may help you mentally, um, but that's about it. But sometimes that's all that matters. So, you know, the, you look good, you feel good, you feel good, you play good, you play good. All that sticks with what you wear on your feet, I would say. So anyways, guys, um, let me get a game in the new um, Vapor and then I will give you guys an uh, honest review and thoughts on what it's really like and maybe if it's worth um, the upgrade. These last year's, or the, uh, not last year's, but the last version, the 14 and Superfly um, 8, uh, I, I don't know if I really like them. They felt like a vapor, they were okay, but they just didn't do it for me it just really didn't do it for me i don't i don't know why you know it was a, a good boot but nothing special i'll show you guys the black one because i haven't seen many people show that one i i love this this is just stealthy view i wish they would have just blacked it all out but as you can see they really want to show you and show off the air zoom unit so that's why it's probably not black um but still very sleek just Nice looking boot, like I said, it's got the nice swoosh on the side and then air on the inside. And these are the ones that I'm really excited to wear and then hopefully get my hands on the yellow pair that um, I've seen. I can't remember which woman's player that is the only one that's wearing them right now. Oh, and, and then they had Mbappe and the FIFA cover. He was wearing them as well. So I can't wait to get my hands on those. But these are the ones if it's a good shoe. If it's a nice boot, I will be um, wearing this one for the majority of the time. 
when I decide to go out and play. I may black out the lettering as well, um, just to uh, cover it up and get it a full black boot, as black as I can get it. Um, so I'm gonna end the video here, guys. Again, thank you for um, watching. Thank you for supporting my channel in any way, even if it's just to give a like or subscribe. I don't need the, I don't need anybody to feel pressure to do the buy me a coffee. It's just, I just wanted to get on the bandwagon of, you know, the content creators that are doing it. And of course it would always help, but also a like and um, subscribing to my channel also helps as well. So with that being said, guys, we'll see you guys very soon, a couple days. Um, if hopefully my games don't get rain out again and, um, I will have a review after. Um, so with that being said, guys, we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.